Hello everyone. So there was a question on the community. Not really a question, but rather I should say a complaint from a user. So basically what happened, I believe uh, someone tried Jira and uh, that user probably was using it on the free plan for a while. And then uh, after some time that person thought maybe I should go back to my Jira instance and uh, and and maybe upgrade the plan for some reason and this is actually very important because when you are uh, trying to ev ev evaluate jira and you have some plans to use it maybe after some time after a few months after maybe few weeks you should basically ensure that let us say because it happens a, a lot with me uh, and uh, i've seen instances where uh, clients of mine they were not massively happy so basically when you sign up you will have the option to create one URL and that URL could be let us say your company name dot atlassian dot net on of course cloud and uh, my recommendation would be to not use a URL or I should say uh, the, the, the name which is uh, going to be final if you're doing like pure evaluation and you know that you're not really sure if you're sure of course use the name that you want to use but this video is not really about the name this video is actually about the retention of your data. If uh, you stopped using your free instance, let us say you evaluated something and maybe you started using it for some actual work and uh, and maybe you want to come back to it. But the thing is, if you're using, uh, there are a few things. If you're using free version of, uh, or, or any version of, uh, of uh, Jira, after you let us say unsubscribe or if you stop paying or if you maybe in, in case of free version, if you stop using it, then or it is inactive, for example, I believe it is like 60 days or some 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 days, let us take a look exact number of days, then, then at large with of course, uh, remove your data. So you have to be careful about it. So let me show you if we, if you go to your uh, admin section of your site, ad, if I mean, if you're the site administrator, go to your site admin section, and then go to storage on the left hand side, and then you can actually find this link called acceptance policy. And basically, or don't worry about the link, I'll share this link. And uh, you can actually see here everything about, uh, you know, how data is stored, uh, your your Atlassian data, your, your data on Atlassian uh, servers or not, I'm sure they're using Amazon, I guess, is stored. Basically, you have to be aware of it, especially if you are uh, a Jira administrator. Now, the thing that I wanted to talk about is, uh, uh, of course, you now you read this page, this page has a lot of information that I'm sure you want to know, like what happens if you exceed your storage limit. Uh, and I believe uh, there's no like strict limit, although there is a limit, like on free plan it is 2 GB. And uh, if you want more space, then you have to upgrade your plan. Uh, and uh, what happens to my storage and stored items if I move to premium plan? What happens to my free plan products if they're in inactive for a long time? So I, I guess, uh, uh, it is 120 days for Jira and for Confluence. You can read about how your data is stored. And this is what this is something that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> now, what happens if I miss payment for my Atlassian product subscription? So it says here, if payment fails for your Atlassian product, you will be unsubscribed, right? Uh, and uh, 15 days after the payment due date, all at which point users will no longer be able to access a product. Right, and there is also this uh, data retention period for evaluation. It is uh, 15 days. For free plan, it, it is 60 days. For standard and uh, premium plan, it is again 60 days. So be aware of uh, these things because, uh, and, and of course, when you resubscribe to an unpaid product, you can resubscribe by completing any missed payments within 15 within the 15 or 60 days after your site has been unsubscribed. Submitting payment once your data has been deleted will not reactivate your uh, subscription or restore your site data. So basically, uh, you should know that if you are using, let us say, a free plan for evaluation, it, it is definitely 15 days. Maybe you want to evaluate advanced roadmaps. So just evaluate it and uh, forget about it if you don't want to use it or take a backup. This is what I do. So when I have to demo advanced roadmaps, I of course need my data and usually I take a backup of the entire site, entire Jira site, and I can also restore it. 
with advanced roadmaps of course on premium and after 15 days it will be gone for free plans and also standard and paid premium plans it is 60 days so after like two months your data will uh, will be gone so just be aware of it and it is actually very 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 important of course feel free to do evaluation try it out but uh, you should know you have two months <laughs> if of course you want to continue using your data so don't start if you know that you're going to buy jira or you have to pay for it if you have if you have let's say more than 10 users and people like it which is usually the case when people look at jira because jira is like very important competitive feature rich uh, tool it is hard to beat jira when it comes to features and people usually organizations when they start using jira they use it so if you're using it uh, make sure you have your data i mean i've mentioned in my previous videos always take backups yourself like the entire site backup that is the best thing that you can do and uh, if needed you can of course restore it later on all right that is it that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye